All right, it's Saturday in May, and we are floating down the Maquoketa River, me and my buddy Victor and his wife, Dina, and we're gonna go down, we're gonna camp one night, do a little bit of fishing, and then float down and take out tomorrow. So, uh, hope you guys will enjoy floating the Maquoketa River along with us. We left the Monmac Dam, and we're gonna camp halfway and then take out at 136 Access, should be fun. So we made it down here to Indian Bluffs WMA. Uh, it uh, really came up fast. I'm glad I had it on the GPS. It's just kind of a little mud ramp. <laughs> so we pulled the boats up, but there is amazing camping spot here. This is really, really nice. Um, there's a fire ring, there's some trees. So we're setting up camp. Uh, Victor and his wife went up the hill to try to get some cell phone signal. And I'm just setting up camp and then I'm gonna try to gather some firewood. So we've got a beautiful spot right here by the Maquoketa River. And we're gonna camp here tonight. Should be really, really cool. Really looking forward to it. Okay, well, made it through the night here at the campground. Everything good. There was a fair amount of traffic through the night as Sometimes there is in rural Iowa. Uh, some folks uh, brought a trailer down here. I suppose they're going to be picking somebody up. And then there's a car over here from Illinois or Wisconsin. I don't know if they're pulling a dirty stealther or what, but there are two people, and they seem to come back to the car every hour and slam the doors. There was also a pickup truck down here that had the entire bed full of red foam sombreros. And at about 3 o'clock, a whole bunch of cars came down, made a bunch of noise, and they grabbed the sombreros and left. I feel like we're going to read about them in the paper. Um, no idea, but it is kind of graduation week, so lots of uh, things going on here with the Utes, as Joe Pesci would say. <laughs> so, anyways, we made it. Nobody bothered us. Um, doesn't look like any raccoons got into our sight or anything. And, uh, we did get rained on, but... <laughs> That's to be expected in May. So you can see the river today is just running. 
really nice. It's still really clear here. Um, nice gravel bars, sandbars. This section of the river, uh, from picture drags on down, I really, really like it. Um, I've never floated that before. I've done the part from the dam to picture drags, and it's cool. Um, but this part had a lot of really steep bluffs, you know, rocky slopes, a bunch of caves that you could see. Very cool. Really nowhere to pull off for camping. It was getting late, and we were kind of worried. This was sort of our last option because of the parking lot on their own, but uh, it turned out to be just fine. So, um, this is a really cool float. So today we're going to go down past Evie's Mill and take out at 136 uh, access. So, that should be pretty fun. Uh, one other thing. There's some pretty cool art on some of these trees here, and it's all in the form of strawberries. I don't know what it means, but it's pretty cool. So, alright, well, we'll see you guys in the water. Uh, started at the Monmac Dam, went all the way down to Indian Bluffs the first night, and then Indian Bluffs to 136 Access. So uh, Victor and his wife are packing up the car. I've got my uh, kayak packed on here. This is not the easiest access. It's kind of a pull through the mud, but you know, it works. So we're all done. We had a good time. It's about uh, 4 or 5 o'clock on the second day. We put in around 11, so about a six-hour float. We took our time. You know, we stopped on some sandbars and did some fishing and stuff. Uh, really great trip, so I encourage you guys to get out. Float the Maquoketa River. Uh, it's beautiful. We're going to be doing more stretches. I think we'll make this an annual thing. All right, well, trout fishing in Iowa, no trout today, but we sure had a nice float. So thanks for tuning in, guys.